Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to another Dolls I Don't Want video. If you are unfamiliar with the style of videos that I do on the channel, this is where I take a look at dolls that have either released recently or are going to be releasing in the near future, and I talk about all the ones that I don't like for one reason or another. I do end up buying and then reviewing the dolls that I like, naturally. So this is just a series where I can talk about my opinions on the dolls that I don't plan on buying. Sometimes it's just because I don't really feel a connection with them, and sometimes I think that they're actively a bad doll, and I just, I'm always so full of a Opinions, so I can't just give my opinions on the dolls I like. I have to also give you my opinions on the dolls that I don't want to buy and like talk about why I don't want to buy them. So that is what we are going to be doing today. Normally I wait way too long in between each iteration of this video and there's too many releases. I think I have finally waited like an appropriate amount of time. We have a decent amount of dolls to get through, but not so many that it's like completely overwhelming which is nice for a change so hopefully this will be like a nice smooth one as always if you guys do find yourself enjoying the video if you could give it a like that's very helpful to me and then if you're new here and you enjoy your time definitely subscribe so you can see more also as always these are just my opinions and i would love to hear your thoughts on these dolls in the comments down below or if there's other ones from like the same lines that i didn't talk about because i want them and you don't want them i'd just love to hear your thoughts on things but with all of that out of the way we can actually start looking at the dolls so the first brand that I want to take a look at today is Rainbow High slash Shadow High. I kind of just grouped them together. And first of all, we're going to be looking at Shadow High Series 3. I'm going to try to get their names right. <laughs> Maybe. I, I might get them wrong. I think that this first one is Scarlet. And the reason that I don't want her is because I think she is a beautiful base doll. Like, I think her face is lovely. Her hair is a really, really pretty color. And I actually love her accessories. I like that she comes with, like, little books or journals. I think that's super cute and, like, something that I'd be interested in. Which is super funny because those of you who know me know that I'm not really, like, a doll accessory person. It's just not something that I really look for in dolls. So the fact that I like her accessories says a lot, but I just don't really like her outfit. I don't know, I'm sure there are people out there who like her, and that's totally fine. But for me, it's just a little bit boring, so I don't plan on buying her. And then, yeah, the second one, I definitely don't know her name. I'm so sorry. Again, I think the base doll is really, really nice. I love this pink color with the micro braids. I just think that it looks really, really pretty. And I do like pieces of her outfit. I'm obsessed with her shoes. I think those are super cool. And I like the top also. I think where she loses me is her skirt. It just seems a little bit more plain than the other two pieces. And, like, that can be done in a good way, but I just am not really vibing with this one. I also do think that she has too many colors of pink slash kind of almost a purpley color that don't really match in my opinion. Obviously that's a very subjective thing, but yeah, she's just not really a standout to me, so I will be skipping her. And then I want to say this one's name is Rosie. I'm always so bad at dolls' names. Unless I buy them, I'm just so bad at remembering them. <laughs> I do really like her. I will say that. I like the red hair. I feel like Rainbow High doesn't often do, like, a true red color. So it's cool to have another doll with, like, very bright, proper red hair. I think her makeup is gorgeous. And most of all, I'm obsessed with this coat. I think it is absolutely beautiful. I also think the shoes are really, really fun. But... I just don't know if I love her enough to buy her full price, or maybe even at all. I'm kind of on the fence with her. One doll that isn't technically featured on this list is Barry. She's the only one from Shadow High Series 3 that I definitely want. But she also could technically be featured on this list because the reason I'm planning on buying her is because I want to customize her to match with Zoe so they can be like little alien friends. So like I'll probably wait for a sale for her as well. I guess I could have put her in this video. Anyway, though, with Rosie, I do think she's really pretty. There's a potential for me buying her on sale, but sometimes I'll say that, and then the doll will go on sale, and I still don't feel enthused enough. So I'm just not sure. It's funny because when we first got pictures of Series 3, she was absolutely my favorite, and I still think she's beautiful, but just because it's been so much time, I think I've had more time to look at her and kind of analyze my thoughts, and I'm just feeling a little bit less enthused. The same thing definitely goes for Lavender. This is a beautiful doll. Like, objectively, I do think she's got a lot of really cool details. I think her hat is fun. I love dolls that have glasses because I feel like that doesn't happen enough. And the top half of her dress is absolutely gorgeous. I just don't know if I like her enough 
to end up purchasing her. At the very least, I definitely will not be getting her or Rosie for full price. I will 100% be waiting for a sale. So I might end up getting those two, but for now they're going on this dolls I don't want list. And then the last one is Oliver. I don't think that he's bad at all. Like, I think this is a fun and interesting hairstyle for a boy doll from Rainbow High. I think this is also the first one that's gotten longer hair, which is cool to see. Um, his clothing really isn't for me, but that doesn't mean that it's bad. Overall, I just don't really love the boy dolls from Rainbow High or Shadow High. I used to have Ash, and I think that he is still probably my favorite boy doll from the brand. But I did end up selling him because, like, I just wasn't vibing with him as much. I think the problem is the bodies. And, like, I know you can't see his body in this picture, so, like, I'm complaining for kind of no reason. But it's just so jarring to me when you're redressing these male dolls and they have, like, super toned bodies and a little bit more of a baby face and, like, they're in high school. It just... I don't know, something about it doesn't work for me. But again, that's a very personal thing. I'm not trying to say that honestly any of these dolls are like necessarily terrible. I'm just not obsessed with Shadow High Series 3 on like the whole. So I won't be buying pretty much any of them and especially not at full price. Next up from Rainbow High, I don't know the proper name of these, which I should. I'll put it on screen if I can find it. But they're the set of dolls that is like different sizes and stuff. Like they have different body types to the regular Rainbow High dolls. And I'm not planning on buying any of these, again, at least full price. The um, purple themed one is taller, which I think is cool. And she does look nice. Like objectively, I think she's got a cool outfit. It's just not really my aesthetic. So that one is extremely subjective. Otherwise, I think she's got a really fun design and I like that she is a taller body type. Then we have the kind of teal themed one who looks like she's a shorter body type she's okay I don't know I just don't really feel anything when I look at her and like I'm not gonna buy a doll if I don't feel something when I look at them the pink one is probably my favorite one I love her glasses and I think that her outfit is pretty cute I will say that what I really don't like because I think the pink one specifically is supposed to be curvy some of the other ones might also be a little bit curvier than a regular rainbow high doll but it really bothers me because you actively can't tell, at least from the images that I've seen online, unless you like take the clothing off of the doll. They look like they're like a normal Rainbow High body. And I appreciate the attempt at diversity. I think that it is much better with the heights because they're pretty obviously either taller or shorter than a normal Rainbow High doll. But the curvy body type doesn't look that curvy to me. And I have seen pictures posted of what her body type looks like if you do take the clothing off. And yes, she's a little bit more curvaceous, but she still has a flat stomach and she still has like a gap between her thighs. And I know that it's probably difficult to execute like thighs that are touching on a doll because if a kid is playing with them too much, like the friction might mess up the plastic or something. I understand. And I think across the board in general, there's not really a brand that is perfect in terms of like representing curvier or more plus size bodies. But I guess my thing is like with Monster High, it's the first one that I think of because Gen 3 has a bunch of different body types. Even though Draculaura still has kind of a more ideal plus size body where she's bigger in the hips and the thighs and she still has a very flat stomach. When you look at her compared to like a Cleo or a Frankie, even with her clothes on, you can very clearly see that she has a thicker body type. Whereas with this Rainbow High version of a curvy body type, I genuinely can't tell when they have their clothes on that she's meant to be curvier and so that's what I think bothers me. That's a very long rant. Um, I might end up buying the pink one anyway at some point if she goes on sale because I do think she is pretty cute but just on principle that kind of bothers me. <laughs> then I wanted to talk about the Holiday Barbie which like maybe I shouldn't because I never buy the Holiday Barbies so in theory every single one could be on this list. But I just wanted to talk about her, okay? Like, I just, I always have opinions and I want to share them with you guys. I don't think this is the worst holiday Barbie we've ever gotten. I like the overlay of the skirt with the, like, gold stars. I think that's actually really pretty. I don't like the ruffle in the middle of the overlay where the stars stop and there's, like, a sewn-on ruffle. I think that looks worse than if they had just done the overlay. But again, the dress itself could be worse. And I actually really like the fact that they've included this little, like, cape. I'm a sucker for a good cape or, like, a cloak. I just think it's very fun. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> this one isn't necessarily as thematic to my content because, like, I buy Rainbow High dolls, so it makes sense for me to talk about the ones that I don't buy. I don't really buy many modern Barbies, let alone the holiday Barbies. But again, I just, I wanted to talk about her and shout out her cape mostly. I thought that was really fun. So Bratz did release their, or they're like working on releasing their Kylie Jenner collab. And I'm just not a fan. I am not necessarily surprised because 
realistically, like if I look at it objectively, I do get that Kylie Jenner kind of seems like a celebrity that would go with the Bratz brand. I just don't think that she's a particularly good human being. So like, I don't love that. And I won't be buying the dolls because of that. Just because I don't want to look at them and think about Kylie Jenner, you know? Like, I understand you could buy them just because they look nice. Because, like, objectively, they look kind of cool. I like the day version the best. I think that the outfit and the shoes are really fun. And, like, the Bratz lip bag is cool. But every time I look at this doll, even if I bought it just for being a Bratz doll, I would think about Kylie Jenner. And I don't want to feel that way. Um, the night version is okay. Not tempted at all by her. Like, I just don't like this outfit as much. And then there is also a 24-inch one. Again, it's not an outfit that I'm, like, obsessed with, and also it's two feet tall. I don't have the space for that, and I think that the tall brats are, like, a little bit creepy. So, yeah, not buying any of those. Then we actually have a new brand to talk about, and this is the Style Bay dolls. So, these are really interesting because they're actually flat doll bodies with, like, a 3D head with rooted hair. So, the way that they function is they come with reusable stickers so you can stick on their fashion, kind of like a paper doll, but then the head is a proper, like, full 3D doll head with the brushable hair. So, it's kind of combining the aspects of a fashion doll and a paper doll, which I do think is an interesting and fun idea for somebody else. <laughs> this is one of those that I don't think there's anything wrong with the concept. I think it's interesting. It's definitely innovative. I just think that they look a little bit creepy because, you know, if you turn them to the side, they're just flat with like a 3D head. And that's what really gets me. Like from the front, they honestly look pretty cool, but I just can't handle them from the side. So I won't be buying these, but it's much less a commentary of like, oh, these are bad dolls, and more just a, this is a cool idea that is not made for me, but I'm sure that other people are going to absolutely love these. And that brings us to the final brand for today, which is Monster High. I feel like there have been so many Monster High reveals lately. Some of them will not be on this list because I do want them, and some of them are not on this list because I don't have stock photos for them yet, and I just get really nervous about using any pictures that aren't stock photos, so like, they'll end up having to be featured in the next Dolls I Don't Want video, but we still have enough to talk about. So the first one is the Holiday Claudine doll. First of all, Mattel did her so, so dirty by releasing her on the same day as the Vampire Heart Draculaura, who, by the way, I did purchase, hence why she's not in this video, because she's gorgeous. I feel like this doll looked so much better until we got that direct comparison. And I understand that the Claudine doll is cheaper, so they probably had a lower budget for her. But releasing them on the same day was so dirty to Claudine. I don't feel like she deserved that. Um, I don't think this is a bad doll at all. I think the blend of colors and the hair is really, really beautiful on Claudine. I like her headpiece. Her gown is just okay to me. It's not something that I feel super, super excited about, which is why I'm skipping her. There's absolutely nothing wrong with her. I just don't feel, like, stunned and amazed the way I felt when I saw Vampire Heart Draculaura. I feel so bad comparing the two. Like, I I feel like that was a terrible way to release these, and I feel a little bit bad for Claudine. Um, I'm sure there are plenty of people who are going to love her, though. She's just not really one that I feel super connected to. Then we have a couple of Claudine and Draculaura, like, set releases. One of them I can't talk about yet because I don't have stock photos for it. Um, the second one, though, is a bedroom set. So it's the same Claudine bedroom set that was already released on Amazon, I believe. And then it's, like different versions of Creepover, Draculaura, and Claudine. So the dolls are wearing completely new clothing pieces. It's just that, like, the set has been reused, and there's been a couple of things added for Draculaura. I don't know. It's fine. Um, I know some people are disappointed because they've already bought Claudine's bedroom, and now they're like, oh, well, I want the dolls, but I don't want to have to rebuy the bedroom. So that is unfortunate. Sadly, there's just no way to know what's going to happen. You know, like, you... You never know if something is going to get a second release or like repackaged or anything like that. So it's kind of just a gamble. Um, I understand why people are frustrated. The dolls are fine, but in general, I'm not a playset person because I don't have a ton of space for playsets. And I'm also not really a big pajamas on dolls person. So this one is not made for me. Another one that I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's sad that some fans have already bought the bedroom and so now it's like how do you get the dolls without having a second bedroom. Um, but yeah, I, I think this is a fine release. I just am not in love with it. Then we have the, uh, gosh, what are they called? I wanted to say Ghoul's Beast Pet, but that's from Gen 2. 
I'll put a name up on screen. <laughs> I, I like can't remember anything today. I don't know why, but it's like a pet line that Monstaria is coming out with um, a set here with Claudine and Draculaura and their pets. And the pets have like a little like tea time table. It's very very cute. The thing that's stopping me from getting this is that a lot of the pieces are reused or very similar to other pieces that we've already seen. So, like, Claudine has the same heels that she got in, I believe, her fashion set playset. Her top and bottom set is kind of reminiscent to me of her first Ultimate Secret stall. It's not exact, but it kind of reminds me of that. Uh, Draculaura has the same shoes in a different color that she had from the Ghoul Spirit line. So, there's, like, a lot of pieces that are just reused. It's not all of it. Um, and some of it isn't even like a direct reuse. I just don't know if they feel different enough for me to want to get them. Like they are cute and I especially love the fact that they have um, bags that are their pets faces. I think that is so so cute. But yeah, I just don't think I like them enough to want to spend the money. Like there's other releases that are coming out that I would rather put my budget towards than these. And so that's pretty much the reason I'm not getting them is that I don't have unlimited money or unlimited space. That also really goes for the next entry. This is a budget Cleo doll who looks cute. This is kind of a slightly different version of her core dolls outfit, much like we saw for um, other characters before. Now we are seeing Cleo get kind of a budget, slightly different version of her core doll. And I think it looks good. Like I think it looks nice. If I were someone who had, again, unlimited funds and unlimited space, I would probably buy her because I like her, but she does look kind of similar to her original core doll that I do have, and I don't have unlimited resources, so I would rather put my space and my money elsewhere instead of towards a doll that does look so similar to one that I already have. And then to round out the video, we have the Snack Shack Laguna. This is supposed to kind of tie into the Scaradice Island dolls. So she's got like a swimsuit top on and then a skirt. I don't know if she has bottoms underneath this. And she does come with a like playset of a snack shack with different foods and stuff. This is fine. Um, again, not really a playset person. So I have to love a doll if it comes with a playset for me to be willing to pay for the doll and the playset. And I just don't love this Laguna that much. I think that her top is really cute, but I don't like what's going on with her bottoms and her shoes to me are kind of unremarkable. I feel really bad because I think that when G3 first came out, Laguna got a lot of hate and I didn't hate her. Like I have her core doll. I think she's a pretty doll and a pretty character. I just don't really love how she's been executed since her core doll. Obviously, that's just a me thing. Like, a lot of other people have loved a lot of other Laguna dolls. So that's something against her. It just, she hasn't been towards my taste, and I really hope at some point I like another Laguna doll, because I feel really guilty at this point for constantly harping on Laguna. But yeah, she's another one where there's nothing wrong with her. She's just not really something that I feel like is designed for me, so I'm not gonna end up getting her. So yes, guys, that is going to round out the video for today. As I said earlier, I would love to know your thoughts on all of these dolls. I do think this was like a fairly positive Dolls I Don't Want video in the sense that honestly, most of the dolls we talked about today are just ones that I don't think are for me, like I don't really connect to instead of me being like, this is a bad doll. So that's nice, you know, <laughs> like for a doll video that's like basically an anti-haul, that's pretty positive. Um, but yeah, I'd like to know if you guys have similar thoughts on these dolls as I do, or if you feel kind of opposite to me. It'd just be cool to talk with you about it. Either way though, I hope you were able to enjoy the video. I do have, as always, linked in my description, my Amazon wish list, and then my TikTok and my Instagram. So if you want to support me in other ways, you can definitely check those things out. Otherwise, I hope y'all have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.